say macro parameters for G chart plus here for graphs very important okay this is the lab data four variables week CD3 average values CD4 average values CD8 average values okay this is the analysis report suppose in the project 100 patients for 100 patients in the week one average CD3 values average CD4 values average CD8 values CD8 underscore means mean average values next for the 100 patients in the week two these are the values in the week three week four analysis report next uh, market research data so these are the variables year product sales profit so we have two years data 2000 2001 and three products data samsung sony lg sales and profit okay for the lab data set i need to generate the vertical bar three dimension graph between the week and cd4 values and here for the market research data i need to generate horizontal bar between the uh, product and profit okay. i don't want the results viewer window for some time so close that. first of all v bar reading prop G chart V bar week somewhere C D four underscore M. Some options here. So in the subgroup always we'll take the first variable, X axis here. This one. Okay, whenever you're using subgroup, you're using less than No less. Next, uh, this and discrete also I'm using. We discuss discrete. Suppose in any case, if you have taken numeric variable on the x-axis, it will show the exact values only. Otherwise, it will show the midpoints if you don't have the discrete option. Next. Uh, these options see vertical bar three dimensional between the week and cd4 in the week we have four groups okay. see week one week two week three week four it's showing the values can y axis cd4 values Next, uh, horizontal bar, in market research data, horizontal bar, product, profit, okay, execute this, okay, horizontal bar. So we have three products, LG, Samsung, Sony. So it is showing the profit for each one. Okay, now both of you. Here observe, we have two programs. This is one program and this is one program. Okay, now compare these two programs and find out how many parameters are there and what are those. How many parameters and what are those. Okay, first write your answer in the chart window both personal this is one program this is one program compare these two programs and write down here how many parameters are there and what are the common ones first
Okay, Prasanna, but no need to take everything as a parameter. Which is important, we can take only those. If you have taken 11 parameters, okay, you can take, no problem. You can create a macro successfully. But it would be difficult for you to remember what are all parameters. As much as possible, you have to decrease the parameters. Which are very important, you can create only for those. See, these colors and all, not a matter. No one will ask only border orange color or this background blue or something okay it doesn't matter which are important only for those create macro parameters okay try once again monica you also uh i have a doubt navini like color i'm like i'm stuck in that like the frame color and all this even those command as a parameter yeah that's what i'm saying if you want you can take these also under parameters but it's not required it's not mandatory so skip these Okay. okay. So, okay, now try and write here. Okay. I told you here no limit for the parameters. Okay. So, but my idea is here I will take four parameters which are important for me. One is the data set name because for any data set I can generate a graph. So, data set name. Next, uh, graph type. It could be VBAR or VBAR 3D, HBAR or HBAR 3D, anything. So, graph type. Next, uh, variable 1. Next, uh, variable 2. So, variable 1, variable 2. Okay, four parameters. I am taking this. macro block common code look at this this is the macro block here common code between the programs the colors and all not a matter so just you can keep it Okay, I am creating positional parameters. Percentage macro G, G for graph. Take the macro block, close the macro. See, from the beginning I am following the same logic. Nothing. Okay, here data set name. graph type variable 1 variable 2 and always in the subgroup variable 1 okay. 
four parameters. So first of all, I'm writing here graph type. Then data set name. Then variable one. Then variable two. And I want to save this macro also in the project library. Okay, G macro. So options m stored as m stored is equals to project library. Okay. You can say this macro also saved. G macro in the project library. Okay, now I want to recall the macro. Percentage macro name, G. Okay. I want to generate the vertical bar graph for the lab data set between the week and CD3. So graph type, vertical bar, first one that. Next data set name lab variable one week variable two cd three underscore m. This is here vertical bar generated. See week on x axis, cd three values on y axis. Okay, this. Next, I want to generate a v bar 3D graph for the lab data for the week and cd eight variables. V bar 3D graph type. Data set name lab week and CD8. See week on x axis, CD8 values on y axis. Okay, see this. Vertical bar three dimensional. Okay, next. Uh, horizontal bar for the market research data between the year and sales market research data year sales Say year. We have two years data. 2000, 2001. So sales. Next to horizontal bar, three dimensional data. For the market research only between the product and profit. How you about three dimensional product, three products, LG, Samsung, Sony. See profits. So by using this macro, we can generate only these four types of graphs here. V bar, V bar 3D, H bar, H bar 3D only. Because these are the common options only with these four statements. Now if you are trying to generate a pie chart by using this macro it won't work it will show an error see execute see the log window showing an error some errors it is saying we can't use these options we have uh, only these options with pie chart so that's the problem so by using this g macro now i can generate only four types of graphs these four So this the above macro is useful to generate only four types of graphs so those are these v bar v bar 3d h bar h bar 3d we can see these statements v bar v bar 3d h bar and h bar 3d these statements are having some common options next pi pi 3d star donut these statements are having some common options okay but now I want to create a macro which is useful to generate all types of graphs. 
they want to create a macro which is useful to generate all types of graphs here. So if in that case we have to use the do blocks. Within the macros we have to use the do blocks. So see the difference between bases and macros to use the do blocks. Bases we are writing like this. If, then, do, and, else, something. But in the macros, everything we should start with percentage while using the do blocks. See, percentage if, percentage then. Only we have to add this one in the beginning, percentage. Remaining everything set. <coughs> okay, now I'm giving the name G1. So first of all, here we have to write the condition if uh, okay I will write the condition here by using do blocks if graph type is equals to v bar r v bar 3d H bar, H bar, 3. Then, if graph type is equals to V bar or V bar 3D, H bar or H bar 3D, then do. Means then execute this one. And whenever you are using do loop, we have to close the loop with an end state. So this is the first one. Okay, next and these are the common options here. If graph type is equals to pi, pi 3D, star donut, then do. Okay, here it's not required. It won't work. See, frame won't work. Percent. Okay. So these are the common options with these four statements. Next, if graph type is equals to block, then do. So we have now three loops here. If graph type is equals to any one of these, then execute this one. If graph type is equals to any one of these, execute this one. If graph type is equals to block, then execute this one. Okay, like that. Okay, execute the program G1. Okay, search here. Okay, this one also created successfully. Okay, G1. Okay, I want to generate the vertical bar. See, V bar, vertical bar graph. Vertical bar three dimensional. See? Horizontal bar. See? Horizontal bar three dimensional. See? Pie chart. Okay. 
पाई थ्री डायमेंशनल स्टार विथ न सर्किल एज पर द डोनट नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक ब्लॉक वीकन सी डी सो नाउ बाइजिंग दिस मैक्रो जी वन आई कैन जनरेट एनी टाइप ऑफ ग्रॉफ केयर All types of graphs can be generated by using this G1 map. And one more advantage: suppose now I'm generating V bar 3D graph. Look at this one, vertical bar 3D image. But here I want to change the shape. I want the cylindrical shape here. I don't want this one. But observe, we didn't use that option here. See, there is no shape option in the macro. But I need to use that. You can see the logic. How you are using the options here? Actually, this is the variable one. This is the variable two. After the variable two, by giving space, we are using the options. The same logic can be used here now. So this is the variable one. This is the variable two. So after the variable two, give a space, and you can use the option. Shape is equals to. Okay. Cylindrical shape. so we can use an extra option also which is not specified in your macro that facility is also there suppose i am generating pie chart here now here i want to ex uh, explore this week one so which option for that uh, explore this we can use some extra options also which are not specified in our map so now by using this g1 macro we can generate any type of graph no need to write the total code just we can pass these parameters okay today i have got two requirements for the emp data set i need to generate the block chart between these two variables job cell next for the class data set i need to generate the vertical bar three dimensional between the gender and age with the gender and age vertical bar three dimensional here in emp data set block between the job and cell two requirements so first of all you can recall the macro because it's a new sa session so only once in a session this one. options macro store sas macro store is equals to library name okay. execute this now requirement 1 Say percentage macro name G one. Which type of graph block for the EMP data set between the job? So I'm not writing the total program, just parameter values. Execute. See block chart between the job and cell. So these are the jobs cells. next requirement 2 so which type of graph we need to generate v bar 3d for the class table between gender age see vertical bar three dimensional graph gender age see here we have two groups female male So this is an advantage of macros 